What's up YouTube? It's Kevin here. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to give you guys another review video because it's Sunday and today we're going to review the Fall Winter 2018 Supreme shoulder bag. So let's check it out. Alright guys, so here is the bag. This is the Supreme Fall Winter 2018 shoulder bag in the red colorway. So as with all bag reviews have been going, it will be a mixture of the details and the sizing in one giant cohesive portion. So let's just dive into it. So there is only one piece of branding on the actual bag. It is this 3M reflective Supreme logo in this kind of box text that's similar to what you'd expect from a box, uh, box logo sticker. Um, and it has this fence-like pattern or like this X-like pattern. It's made by Outdoors, the brand, and um, this technology is actually called X-Pack, as I mentioned in the fanny pack. And the intention behind using this design or like the functional purpose behind it is to make the bag more tear resistant so um, it's harder to rip, etc, etc. The bag is also waterproof, which is a pretty nice touch in my opinion because I wouldn't want any water like getting inside of the bag or like protecting my items from water is rather important at times. <laughs> Anyways, so other details about the bag, it's a shoulder bag, so you have a strap. Um, the strap features a nice little buckle that you can use to put it on, but I don't understand why anyone would. The strap itself is adjustable, which is a really nice touch because if it was one size, I'd be pretty sad. <laughs> and yeah, that's the general parts of the strap. Um, what else? So there are three main components that you can use to store your stuff in. So the first component is a single zip component. It's up in front. Um, the size, I would say, is a comfortable fit for a typical moleskin notebook. So this is kind of a similar size book to a moleskin notebook, and you can fit it perfectly in size inside the front pouch. So that is about how much you should expect to fit in the front pouch. So like, I wouldn't actually fit a moleskin notebook in the very front, but that's just for sizing relevance. Um, what I'd actually probably put is something like shoe wipes um, in case my shoe gets dirty and I'm OCD about that stuff. <laughs> so um, throwing in thin stuff in the very front pouch is something that's very typical. So like receipts, maybe your passport, some shoe wipes, things that are overall thin in nature and uh, can fit in the front. Um, as for passport sizing, you can fit it very, very comfortably. So this is the passport inside of the front. It has probably half a thumb's worth of space left um, in the very front. And so you guys can play around with it if you decide to get the bag for yourself. Um, that's a single zip component. Um, let's move on to kind of a little bit more of a special touch. This is a Velcro um, compartment. So this is, in my opinion, intended for people to fit things that aren't thin in the front part of the pouch. So if by any instance you would want to take a Logitech mouse with you wherever you were going, you could just take the Logitech mouse, put it in the Velcro component, and zip it up comfortably without it falling out. So, fits perfectly inside. It's effectively a larger pouch, but because it's Velcro, you need to be careful. You can't be putting have your items in this part. And so, yeah, it's a very nice, spacious component. Fits my entire hand. So you probably put like a fist's worth of stuff in here <laughs> and then Velcro it up. So yeah, the final component is a double zipped component featured here. Um, the double zip opens up a very, very spacious component for the shoulder bag. Um, you can fit a lot of stuff in here and plus there are pockets. So there is a giant pocket, which if earlier you didn't want to put your moleskin notebook here, you put it here and it's pretty comfortable um, in terms of sizing. And uh, they have the mesh pouches that I absolutely loved for the spring summer 18 waist bag. So I'll kind of show you guys what I'd use these for. I put my passport in there, which is nice and snug, super nice. You can put like your wallet and keys and stuff in here as well. 
Um, so these are some super nice components. These are mesh, um, so they keep them nice and tight and tucked in so that they don't take up space or become inefficient with space usage. Um, the actual bag actually stretches out a little bit, so you get a lot, a lot of space in this in this overall component. You could actually like push your lock and like stuff a bunch of stuff. So like for instance, I could probably put my camera in in here comfortably, and I'd still have around like a little over half the amount of space, probably like 66% left to just fill anything. Um, it makes the entire like Tetrisy aspect of bringing stuff with you super relevant um, you can fit like bigger cologne bottles this is my aqua DGO absolute and so I could throw that in here comfortably so it looks a little bit like that and then I could also throw my camera case in here and then maybe like my wallet and keys stuffed in the other side um, phone so this is an iPhone 6 you could stuff this in here and it would be very comfortably tucked inside and even though I have a absolutely large phone case, but it's a very comfortable fit. So as you can see, the bag actually fits a lot of things. So you can have a lot of fun with it. You could probably roll up a t-shirt and fit in here as well. Um, it's just generally a very good bag in terms of functional capabilities. And so this is a double zip component. I forgot to mention something earlier. So um, in the front, it has this odd little hook thing. So. This is a hook that's in the very front part, so this is the single zip component. And I don't know what it's for, but I guess you could hook like your keys or something that's like relatively important with this hook. Um, but then, there's more. <laughs> there's actually something that's really weird. I don't know what these things are for, maybe for like bike locks, I guess? So this is like literally just a plastic thing that's like jelly bean shaped. So. I don't know what it's for, but if you guys do, I'm always down to educate myself on how these bags function or what the purpose of some things are. And so that kind of sums up the components and the details of the bag. There's one last thing I'd like to touch on before I cap off the review, and it is this part. So this is a Velcro kind of strap for you to be able to kind of put it on. For instance, if you were to go on a travel trip and you wanted to just velcro this onto like a strap, you could do something like this. It's super convenient when you actually use luggage and you velcro your bag onto the luggage because then it won't fall off. Um, on top of that, there's a little hole right here um, with this little velcro strap. Um, you could use these for like your belt buckles. It's just a very versatile way of wearing the bag as well. So um, I just like those options. And this bag is definitely a bag full of options for you to be able to kind of put it wherever you want to put it and do whatever you want to do with it. So this is a great bag overall. I would give it a five out of five in terms of functionality and style. Um, I hope you guys like this review. By the way, I caught this at retail for, I think it was like $78. It probably was cheaper. I think it's like 78 or 68, something like that. Um, but right now you can find it really cheap on StockX for like 100-ish before they spike up. This is a very underrated bag, guys. You guys should cop it when you can. And um, yeah, there also should be a restock on Supreme's website soon. So look out for that because this is a sleeper. You guys should really pick it up. So. This is Kevin, and thank you guys for tuning in to my Sunday review video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Ask any questions in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys in my next upload. It might be a surprise, it might be the review. I don't know, you'll have to find out. Bye! <laughs>